Welcome to Michigan by the Bottle. I'm Shannon Casey. And I'm Courtney Casey. We have a wine today from Bowers Harbor Vineyard mm -hmm. up on Old Mission. And it is their 2010 Reserve Chardonnay. And according to the sheet we got, it was just bottled on October 4th. So about a month ago, mm -hmm. it was put in the bottle. The first thing I noticed when we got the bottle was that there's a... Uh, wax. Yeah, wax top on it. And... My public service announcement today is the easiest way to deal with that, and I've tried many different ways, is to just drive the corkscrew straight into it and pop it out. And it comes out much nicer than trying to scrape away the wax or work through the wax first. So It looks beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Very, very my, high class. It's my free tip. <laughs> So you may notice on the side here, I don't know if you can see it, but they actually have a QR code on the label. Love and it. Bowers is one of several wineries up north and mm -hmm. throughout the state that are doing QR codes to where you can scan and get some more information about the wine yeah. you're drinking, pairings, that sort of thing. And they actually have one wine that is its label is a QR code. Yeah. So they're very into the QR phenomenon. Yeah, that's cool. So this is all estate grown fruit, so everything is old mission, everything is on their estate. Mm-hmm. And they have some very uh, unique food pairing options with this, and we were we were laughing because we were thinking, wow, we'd have to be uh, master chefs to make some of the things really? they recommend on here. But they recommend pairing this with salmon, with peas, pea tendrils, and dill cucumber sauce. Uh, Orecchiette, I don't know if I'm even saying that right, which is a shame on me because I'm Italian, with rabbit, tomato, and basil sauce, and crostini of fava bean puree with rich, fresh ricotta and morel mushrooms. So I think I want the people at Bowers Harbor to come cook for me. <laughs> what do you think? So what are you getting on this particular wine? <clears throat> on the nose, I'm getting like a red deli or I'm sorry, like a yellow delicious apple. Does that exist? Yellow yes. delicious? Oh, okay. Learned Slightly less day. delicious than red. <laughs> I think you're just making up fruit. And, and I think a little, a little bit of citrus. This is aged in uh, new French oak. It's definitely very oaky. Yeah, and, and you can tell when you take the first sips of it, um, you really get that kind of creaminess, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit of vanilla flavor that uh, that I associate with oak. So I think this would definitely be a more up the alley of people who like their their Chardonnay oak. If you are a yep. strictly naked Chardonnay, this probably isn't going to be your, your no, dealing. No, this is fully clothed. Fully clothed. <laughs> fully clothed. But it's good. And, and, you know, this is the type of wine that I could easily, in addition to pairing it with my Cristini of Fava Bean Puree, this is also a wine that I could easily, you know, take out with some friends and just relax on, on the couch and watch a game with. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's good uh, fireplace wine, I think. Absolutely. So. Make sure you check out Bowers Harbor. Make sure you keep checking out michiganbythebottle.com where we support the state with every sip.